everybody hey everybody it's me gina and i do not have a new upload today unfortunately i'm feeling too under the weather to sit in front of my bright ring lights and record but i did not want to leave you guys hanging so i went through my vault and found some of my videos that i was too insecure or shy to upload whatever it had been and i decided to upload that so this is a video that i recorded before covid happened and i was getting ready to go out to the club oh gosh i miss those days what i'm doing now is filling in my eyebrows using benefit products the precisely my brow pencil in shade number five and the benefit brow setting gel those are my go-to products i don't need anything else on my eyebrows Now I'm going in with my primer. I use the Benefit Professional Primer. Oh, I am jamming over there. I was listening to some Roddy Rich, y'all. That's my spirit animal. But I use the Benefit Professional Primer. It's the best primer for my skin. I have sensitive skin. It's the only thing that does not turn me red. As you can see, my face looks pretty normal here, but other products would have me looking really red in my cheeks. And I don't like that when putting on makeup. So this is my go-to primer. It's like $24 at Ulta. And I love it. Now I'm taking my Lancome Tense Idol 24 hour matte foundation in the shade 35 Warm. I love this foundation. It's like perfect, the perfect coverage. Sometimes it has um, really peachy undertones that give me a nice blushy looking look on my cheeks and I love that. I've tried so many foundations and this is my favorite of all time. I have like four bottles. I have my winter shade, I have my summer shade, I have the two shades I gotta mix together to make my in-between shade. I love that foundation. This was a quick beat, I'm proud of myself, but I also didn't do highlight, contour, or any of the other fancy things. I just did my foundation, my eyelashes were already done, I did my eyebrows, and then I left the house. I'm so much better now, because I do the whole thing. The brush I'm using is the number one airbrush foundation brush, or the number 101 airbrush foundation brush from IT Cosmetics. I got mine from Ulta, it's $24. It's my favorite foundation brush of all time. When it gets old, it does start to shed, but I get like six a year when Ulta has their sales. So I'm always ready to go with a fresh brush. Never caught lacking, ever. Thank you. 
just taking my beauty blender to make sure all that foundation is in my face before I set it. You know, at the time I was using the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but I do not use that anymore. If you watched my last video, you see that I use the Morphe Continuous Spray setting spray now. I love it. It's bomb. Y'all know I'm hairy, so I'm like plucking my nose hairs because they make my makeup look weird. Because my, my face will be all beat and then I'll have nose hairs just poking out of my nose. So I'm getting rid of my nose hairs so they don't ruin my video. Or not the video, so they don't ruin my look. You can't even see them in the video. Here I am lining my lips with the cork lip liner from MAC. It's my go-to lip liner. It's so perfect. It's the most perfect brown I've ever seen. And I usually just top it with lip gloss and it's bomb. Now, I'm still getting my nose hairs because I still see nose hairs. I'm like Chewbacca. I'm just hairy. Now I'm putting my lip gloss over my lip liner and I was using the clear lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. girl jam jam your little heart out over there and now I'm just setting my whole face to get that matte look I don't really like dewy makeup at the time well I don't know I have oily skin so I don't really like dewy makeup but I'm starting to get more into some dewy things on my face <laughs> and that's all thank you for watching it's a short video but I'll have better content this week I promise